Hello, 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 and welcome back. So, we're going to do the one for just the local planetary government right here. One and a half skulls recovery. We're going for max salvage in case there's a bunch of mediums here. The thing I was really wanting to say is I loved the uh, the loading thing that was up there. Um, but it changed as I started the video. Oh, R in Jesus giveth and he taketh away or something like that. It was pretty pretty humorous. It might have actually popped up while I was starting it. Uh, still been on there. Who knows? I just was definitely wanted to say something about that. But it changed. Um, just kind of need to see something like that. So hopefully we'll get some uh, more medium parts here. I, the Javelin I definitely want to switch. Honestly, I feel the Venom is extremely good. I feel it's uh, definitely pulling its weight. The Javelin, I think I've done pretty much everything I can. It's it's a 30-tonner, um, so it's 5 tons lighter. The armor, I mean, I've got it really up there. It, it can't carry as many weapon systems. It uh, I just think I've really taken the Javelin as far as I can. So... And as always, we will have our ridiculously fast Venom come out here and see what we can find. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to reserve back as well, and whatever you decide not to move, well then, I will just... I will take shots on it. Hmm. I'm trying to realize if I played on this map earlier, but I don't know. As always, I, I want to keep my cicada kind of back, kind of hidden a little bit. He doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be going all crazy like. Okay, so here we have a phoenix hawk. Ooh. Uh, what? Was that the ERPPC that hit me? How come? How come I didn't get a sensor scramble off of that then? Uh, 50 damage, though. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? You're, you're not going to even be able to get eyes, huh? Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. I, I do like the Phoenix Hawks. I think they're... Uh, they run a little hot, but, I mean, just really good energy hard points overall. Uh, I had one of those in my very first playthrough with uh, Steiner. I think they're they're f pretty fantastic, to be honest. Alright, um... Okay. Waiting for orders. I mean, I think we come up and we take the back shot. Oh, wait, that's, uh... I can't quite get my arc welders there. Uh, what's the, what's the back armor looking like? I mean, much preferable to the front if we're going to be just, you know, honest about it. <laughs> That'll also put me in the forest. Uh, I mean, I can't torso twist towards the other mech that I could see. Looks like we got one there. Still unknown mech. Okay, another another heavy, though. That, I don't know if that's a vehicle or mech down there. Okay, jump jet. Definitely not great, but, uh, yeah. More where that came from. I, I don't think Gator can get around a back shot here. I'm pretty sure that's not a back shot. I think what we do here is we reserve back try to let the Phoenix Hawk go, which it does not. Yes, hmm. Oh, there's the other one over there. 32% chance, 114 damage. The thing is, if the Phoenix Hawk moves, well, let's, let's try getting right up in its face. So I think the optimal on the heavy PPC must be out like 300, 280, something like that. 
not gonna let me see, are you? Let's, let's try that again. There we go. Um, long 360. So that's the optimal, actually. It calls it long on the screen for whatever reason. 26. I mean, that is not maximum, but that's pretty close. And that's almost a third chance to just hit. And, uh, well, I know what we do. I know what we do. Bring that nasty little cicada up, and we go ahead and take the shot. Hopefully we can get drop a tag here. We do not drop the tag. I was hoping the Phoenix Hawk would move originally. And lose some of its evasion. Oh, like it did right there. Wait, Ace Pilot? Yes, Ace Pilot. Still, that's just a regular move. And it's incredibly close now. Hmm. Thirty-eight percent. I mean, I can bring the plasma lance online at that point. Uh, what's what's just the melee chance on this? Sixty-six, and I mean the melee does not as much as the plasma lance, but a ton. Plus, I well, I mean not plasma lance, heavy lance, uh, and I can still. I, I, we go for it, and then we hopefully open it up and uh, get a good shot in the back with that javelin. Engine destroyed. Bye-bye, medium. Alright, so good stuff, good stuff. Um, what do we have over here that looks like a power armor? Power armors do have r pretty decent melee attacks, though. I think this is a little lower than it was, or maybe it's just this version. Because uh, the power armors are just little one-man suits, but they have the ability, they're made by the clans, they, uh... I think have, like, what was it, maglocks and stuff like that, where they literally climb on the mech and just start cutting them apart, so... Uh, you gotta be kind of careful. I mean, you hit a power armor, honestly, this power armor... isn't too shabby, uh armor-wise, uh, but when they get close, and if they get some melees in on you, they're, uh, they're, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. By. Um, I think we actually want to come over here and try to get eyes on... Oh, I think you're just outside of range, aren't you? Well, just out of curiosity, what is my chances? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. I think we see what this is, because I think that was the light mech. I'm hoping that's a flanking shot. It is a Commando 1D, large laser. You know, it's funny. Uh, I really like the 2D a lot better, but... There's something to be said about the 1D, uh, just the large laser being able to fire and keep keep some safe distance. I mean, 240 total armor, and this is not this is not like a subpar armor version. The Commando just has toilet paper, <laughs> as do honestly many of the uh, many of the mechs in this game. Is that going to let me get one more evasion out of that? It is, and I still keep the same hit chances while still getting the back shot, so good stuff. Alright. Took out the large laser. Still SRM6s, though. You're still going after that cicada, aren't you? I hate you. Oh, how I hate you. Um... Come on, what's the uh, what's the hit chances there? There it is. Um, 43s, that's not bad. Can I actually get on the side and... 37s... I think we go for it, because I'm so evasive. 
normally I'm a little little worried of the power armors, honestly. Heavy PA core crit. Unfortunately, because we went to the side, we just took out the arm. How that doesn't blow somebody's arm off and really, really uh, leave them in bad shape, I don't know. I mean, the Commando's only got the SRM-6 at this point. It's going to deal a little damage to me, but uh, I don't think enough for it to matter. Okay, and we got the target acquired up. All right. Now, the other heavy is... It looks like a mech. What's up, boss? Can you get eyeballs on it? You can. So we're going to have you handle whatever heavy's up here. You've got great evasion. It's a crab. Ooh, I want the crab so bad. Uh, crabs are really interesting to me. So about a third chance that I'll really deal with some heavy damage. Crab is very well armored, though. 707 for a medium. Uh, it's it's kind of close to my Vindicator, which I have armored the hell out of. The only thing I'm worried about is uh, that little power armor over there. I mean, that's a whole bunch of 63s. I'm not going to have a ton of evasion, but I'm, I'm going to go for the kill here. Okay. We just completely wiped the floor with that uh, power armor. But, I mean, what was the, what was the damage on that? Uh, 64, I believe? It's like, wow, that is a... That is a light, that is a one, that's not even like a, a, a light mech. That thing weighs nothing. Uh, it's just craziness. Absolute craziness. So uh, we're going to get a nice shot here. We'll chance the overheat. I've got the cicada coming up. We were not able to take the torso out, though. It's, it's not a big deal. You getting all worked up? Yeah, so the crab, uh, really just out the, out of the gate, uh, really solid values overall. This thing hardly moves, so we have a very good melee, and we deal a ton. Always on these heavy armor targets, because the game doesn't really seem to uh, to change up the armor on the back. You're you're really gonna want the back attack, especially. If you're not going to be punished for it. Gyro destroyed, engine destroyed, so the crab is down. Which just leaves us the commando, I think. And we're just going to flip around. And just wipe that commando out. Really? I think I hit something good. Well, one health left. Is it going to be the death from the falling? Pilot incapacitated. Beautiful stuff. Waiting on you, Commander. We're gonna sprint on back towards my others. What do you need? Honestly, we're not gonna sprint here. We're just gonna move. Moving out. I don't think there's anything else here, but just in case, I want to have everything. Yep. Fairly close. Honestly, my back's at the edge of the map. I'm fine with the cicada sitting there. And then we'll have the uh, the Vindicator go complete. Ready for orders. All right, go ahead and brace. I guess we'll bring the cicada forward so I can keep some movement pips in case something pops up in front of these. My two light mechs. Not gonna have full evasion, but we'll have good evasion. Good go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm really partial to this venom. Uh, the asset has been secured and it's ready for retrieval. 
All right, so that's it. And there were two medium mechs. Uh, one was the crab. What the heck was the other one? Um. Oh, Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, actually, I like both of those. Uh, good mechs, good mechs. And I have lots of salvage here, so... Hmm. Might be some pulse lasers here, too. I think the Phoenix Hawk has some pulse lasers. I have a little bit more heat I could spare on that Venom. If there doesn't happen to be too many chases for the crab, that is. The crab and the... Uh, did I get hit? Yeah, my Venom got hit with the, uh, what was that, PPC? Or was that an ER PPC? ER PPC. All right, so we got one crab, only one phoenix, boo, hoo, hoo. I could cry right now. Uh, ER PPC is something I'll probably be grabbing in case I don't have the ballistics for a sniper later. Another slick, um, I think I can just come up with something later, so I don't think we're going to take that. I think we're going to go for the ER PPC, and no pulses, huh? I swear I thought the Phoenix Hawks had some pulse stuff on it. Might have been because my first game, when I did have it, I was playing Steiner, and they start with a large, medium, and small pulse laser, so that could definitely be what's going on here is I'm misremembering. The real question is, I think I have a commando part? Do I want to just grab some D parts? Or do we want to go with the ER large laser? In case I don't have another PPC, I think that's what I'll go with. I would like the fusion core and probably the 1D parts. Uh, one 1D one part. Just a regular, oh two regular large lasers. Another case. Which I haven't put on yet. Uh, no fusion core, though. I, I did kind of want the fusion core there. Fusion cores can just be a little hard to get your hands on sometimes. You don't get them out of every mech you blow up, because many times you will take that engine out. So, you know, bad stuff. So sometimes having a few fusion cores is nice. If that was a little faster of a fusion core, I probably would have taken it. Uh, like if it had come out of the Crab or the the Phoenix Hawk, because I don't think either of those had a 155. Honestly, though, if, if I'm just going to be serious about it, I am rotating pilots so fast. My A and my B group are so very close together because you just, the evasion, you don't take the damage, you don't ever have these really long uh, repair times. I mean, I have one mech that took damage, and it will probably take two days to fix, I'm thinking, and about 12,000. Uh, looks like Karita took some stuff. Okay. Two days to repair, yeah, and just, just ridiculous. And the thing is, my other pilots are not going to be ready for five days. They're fatigued right now. I honestly, at this point, am numb. I'm wondering if, as I get my hands on some more mechs, if, I think recreation, no, 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 where is it? Um, habitation pods. I'm wondering if I don't need the structural repair and the extra uh, barracks here, because as I get, like, another full lance, I, I just, I need more pilots to rotate, uh, if... Well, I won't have all the stealth and null systems, so maybe I should start looking at grabbing some more of those, too. When I see them, of course, and ECMs and stuff. Alright, so, uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time. Wow, that was under 20.